Well, it is really starting to feel like fall outside and look like it too. As we look live over Dallas in Gaston County from our tower cam, you see the trees. They are starting to change some colors now, especially with this colder weather that we have uh, over the last few days. But warmer weather is coming our way. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist <laughs> Tara Lane watching the forecast. Yeah, Brian, like I said at the beginning of the show, we go from breaking out the sweaters and the coats and things like that. I was wearing my thick puffy coat yesterday up there toward the mountains. We can probably break out the shorts and short sleeves again. A lot of you would be thinking that as we roll into next week with those warmer times ahead. And even here today, we're running just a few degrees warmer compared to 24 hours ago running about three to even as much as 10 11 degrees warmer up there in the mountain community so not quite as bitterly cold as it was yesterday especially with that wind whipping around which is definitely a little bit lighter out there today just that light and variable wind we're up to 63 degrees in the queen city and dew points are still real dry when you see those numbers in the mid 30s we only have that relative humidity compared with the temperature there in the dew point only up to about 35 percent we've got 60 in salisbury widespread low 60s across the board here most neighborhoods not quite hitting those mid 60s and low to mid 50s up in the mountains and high pressure is taking over. So yeah, there's that low pressure headed offshore and still lots of clouds and a little bit of rain wrapping around that right along coastal areas. But we do not have any rain in sight or snow for you all in the mountains anytime soon. We're going to keep it clear overnight. And so again, that will allow temperatures to tumble back into the mid and upper 30s in spots early tomorrow morning. So we are back to those frost advisories being issued for most of the region here where we see that lighter purple color and then freeze warnings just for those higher elevations in the mountains. Boone and Jefferson didn't quite get as cold as what we were thinking this morning with those upper 20s, but could be just a little bit colder again tonight. So another cold night ahead, still bundling up out there and the warm up it's on the way starting this weekend and even tomorrow afternoon will be a touch milder. And as I said, more dry weather ahead. If you're hoping to see a little bit of rain, maybe you've done some yard aeration, you need some of that just natural rain actually falling from the sky so you don't have to water it. Yeah, don't count on any real any anytime soon. This weekend we're going to keep it nice and sunny. So beautiful weather for anything happening outside temperatures. There we go. There's the warm up up to 70 tomorrow afternoon, low and mid 70s for the actual weekend Saturday and Sunday. So that brings us to a big Saturday event in the morning happening, stepping off at nine o'clock in the morning, starting to gather at eight o'clock. And this is the walk to end Alzheimer's in Charlotte out of truth field myself and Julian Sador from Queen City News. Now we're going to be out there and helping to kick everything off those opening ceremonies. Temperatures at that time will be still a little chilly 40s to near 50, but lots of sunshine. You're going to start to warm up as you're walking around doing a mile or so throughout the city of Charlotte there for that walk. So come on out and join us and say hi. All right, so here's the warm up coming up next week instead of that big dip in the jet stream and giving us that colder flow. We are going to see more of a ridge of high pressure building in and that's going to really help boost temperatures and working with all the sunshine to give us those highs back in the 70s. So starting with Saturday, we'll top out as I showed you in the 70s, more of the same coming up for Sunday. And boy, as we go into next week, by the end of next week, we could have some of those temperatures closing in on 80 degrees. And you can see how the numbers get obviously a little bit cooler at night, but not as bitterly cold as what we've been feeling here lately and rain chances a whole lot of zeros going into next week. All right, so this is what you're going to be waking up to tomorrow morning, right down to freezing there in the mountains, Boone, Jefferson, down through Avery County, even around freezing. So that's why we had that frost advisory in effect. Albemarle down to 32. We'll keep those lows around the mid to upper 30s in most of the Charlotte Metro and the Piedmont. But the seven day forecast shows we're getting rid of the 30s and back in the 40s to near 50 rolling into next week with those daytime highs warming up. There's that 79 by next Wednesday.